What is up guys, WAS Design here for my first ever tutorial on this channel. So today we're gonna look at some effects that are awesome within Sony Vegas. So it's basically the particle burst effect from Tutorial Market, the 3D stroke rings from Tutorial Market, there's gonna be the shatter effect from After Effects, and we're gonna take a, also a look um, on how to do the um, Xbox notification effect. All of that within Sony Vegas. Hooray! So, just to show you a quick example with the 3D stroke rings. Yeah, all of that, that's the 3D stroke rings. We're gonna take a look to the particle burst. That and maybe if you want to see, yeah, I'm gonna show that too. And that has been the the Xbox notification effect is within Sony Vegas and the cropping is in Sony Vegas too, so I'm gonna show you all of that, that's gonna be awesome. And the shadow effect, which looks like this. This, yeah, that's gonna be it. So, first of all, you're gonna want to download my editing pack, which contains overlays that I've made myself. Of course, I, I had to follow tutorials from Tutorial Market, so I did link those in the description right here. Don't worry. I do not say it's completely mine. So, the download links are here. Normal download links. Gamefront Media Fire. So, when you have downloaded the pack, you're gonna want to go and search for Scope Effect 2 or Screen Fracture from Scope Effect 1, TV Notification Effects, Sony Vegas, and TV Screen Shape. Drag all of that within Sony Vegas, get a clip of course, that's normal. So, for example, the SCO effect, the first one, the particle burst. Drag it, then go to video effects, I don't know why it's not here anymore. Well, that is weird. Video effects, alright, so, gonna put it back in. Nope. Right here, I guess. Anyways, you're going to go search for chroma key here, and then look for pure green screen, drag it on, put some color correction on that so you can see it better like I did, and then just, you know, keyframe the expansion and such. So at first you want to make it really, really small. Then you're gonna want to go to the end, or almost, and then keyframe it back to restore, make it small, and then bam, you got it. Maybe compress it so it goes a little bit more faster. And then you see it, you see it, it ha it's happening, and and bam. I mean, you just have to play with the keyframes, just make sure you don't see things like that. It's ugly, but just find a way, a way to do that. That's not my problem. So, delete this. We're going to take a quick look at the other scope effect, which is basically the same. Just delete the, the audio file, drag on pure green screen on that, and then just cut it where you want it to start. Maybe compress it. And yeah, just play with the keyframes or the velocity. And that should be good. Now it is TV screen shape, which is extremely easy. You just drag on the clip, chroma key that thing with the pure green screen, and bam, you have the TV screen shape effect. And then you can, you know, just put some color correction to make it look like a TV. Yeah, 
seems good. So, that's it. Now the TV, no, I mean the screen fracture effect. Gonna want to get the exact frame at where it starts. And then, like always, delete the audio file. Compress it maybe a little bit. And drag on pure green screen on that. It's not the real, I mean, all the parts, it's gonna be the background. It's not gonna be a real, real part like in After Effects. I think it looks good enough. And for the Xbox notification effect, I had to use After Effects a lot for that because I had to exactly keyframe it, which is a little bit stupid. Anyways, you're gonna want to drag on first pure red screen and then you're gonna want to have these settings. So look at that. Pause the video right now. Get these settings. Maybe you can mess it around a little bit with the high threshold and things like that. But I think it looks really great. And then of course it's okay, it appears. There's a little bit of red, but you know, I think it looks great enough. If you have color correction, it's gonna look even more awesome with all of that. So just messing around with that. And oh my god, that's it. That's it for today. So if you have enjoyed the tutorial, which is not so awesome because it's my first. Anyways, if you like the tutorial, please leave a like, comment in the description. I really made that for the people who use uh, Sony Vegas only because it's it makes for awesome effects. I just messed up the sentence right now. All right, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna say thanks for watching. Go check my editing pack if you want these overlays, completely free, made by me. I gave credit to the people who made the tutorials, the first tutorials and stuff like that. So that was WA's design. See you next time.